<laughs> I need to stop doing that, but um, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, good day, good day, good day, I can't do it, um, guys, um, this video is, oof, oh, I look terrible, this video is about, oh my god, my hair looks like it's about to eat my face. This is why I'm getting a haircut. Um, anyway, sorry, I need to stop backtracking and stuff. Um, this next video is not going to be as long as the other one. <laughs> Apologies for the length of that one. I understand why you don't watch it. I know it's pretty boring because I'm bad at reciting poetry. But this one is me discussing why I hated Jane Eyre. Yay. Um, a lot of you will probably disagree with me in this video, and I'm prepared for the hate. Don't tell me to kill myself though, because I'd get bored and actually would. Um, out boredom, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to do it so my face don't look fat. I accidentally choked myself. Um, but if you can't tell, I'm British. Well, yeah, I'm half, but that's besides the point. I've been born and raised in London, and, well, in England, I don't know about Scotland and anywhere else, but I know in England we do GCSEs. Don't ask me what it stands for, because I really couldn't care less, but um, in these GCSEs, we get English exams, just like you would in any other country for your own native language. And we had to read three books. And in Spectacles, Macbeth, Jane Eyre. Loved and in Spectacles, loved Macbeth, Jane Eyre. What can I say? Flipping hated it with a passion. Probably the book that out of every single book I've read in my entire lifetime, I hate Jane Eyre the most. Probably is because I read it as part of GCSEs, which made me hate it more. But, number one, anyway, number one, the reason why I hate Jane Eyre is, as I said, did it for my GCSEs, and as you know, sometimes when you study something, it can kill the passion, the excitement, the enthusiasm, and all that stuff that you have for something. Well... See, I, I enjoyed English a lot, and I, I quite liked my English teacher. I thought she was a lovely woman. Um, she was an amazing person, so, and a great teacher. So it was not her fault in this. It was purely Miss, wait, which one wrote? Charlotte Bronte. Miss Charlotte Bronte's boy, is it four uh, Miss Charlotte Bronte, Char Miss Charlotte Bronte's fault, and I understand, you know, feminism and all that. Right, I get that. Because the reason why I bring this up is nothing against feminism. I, I'm, I'm supportive for, you know, equality for all, you know, etc., etc. But when I say um, feminism, is every time I turn around and say, oh, I dislike Jane Eyre. And I think none of the Bronte sisters can write because, well, I don't know about one of them but so i've read wuthering heights and i've read jane Eyre and i hated them both wuthering heights probably my second most hated book of all time so i haven't got a really good track record with the brontes see what i mean um everyone always turns around and says says to me oh it's a feminist icon is it it's a great book for feminism blah, 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 blah. i don't care like in all seriousness I understand them, like, what they're trying to tell me, and I get that it's good and all that. I don't need anyone to tell me that, you know, it's for a movement and all that, because I know, and I understand that, and I, I get that's brilliant and all. And I applaud them. I applaud every single female writer back then, I, you know. Um, but I just can't stand the books, and I can't, I, like... It's not me going, oh, I hate women, because I love women a lot. Um, <laughs> um, but um, I just 
really hated the books and um, this is a really long point I'm sorry but I, I don't know why I decided to do the number system so I'm just gonna like no not do that I'll probably just say them it'll be easier um, another thing that I didn't like about Jane Eyre was the um, not commentary oh that's not the right word um, Ah, oh, what's the word? Commentary is the spoken version of like something, but not narration. Well, I don't know. But the way it was written, the style, I found very boring. Um, I also, I also find the way that she writes is quite. Um, it's a bit like how um, Oscar Wilde likes to drag on things that don't need to be dragged. I I felt that way about the book I felt like it didn't need to be that long yeah I have an issue if I find a book boring in the first few pages I find it really difficult to read on so that was another issue another one I think her name's Grace Poole or whatever Grace Poole is that the wife of Mr Rochester I hated Mr Rochester like, do you know what? If you want a man in your life, why are you going after Mr. Rochester? Like, I haven't actually read Jane Austen yet, but um, from watching Pride and Prejudice stuff, find yourself a Mr. Darcy. Slightly arrogant, but you could change that. You don't need no Mr. Rochester. He'll ditch you, lock you in a cellar if you're not to his liking because he thinks you're a bit cuckoo, he thinks you're a bit crazy. So he'll lock you in the thing and then the house will burn down, you'll die. He'll, right, lose his vision. Find a lovely young lady and then miraculously get his vision back after he get, has a little boy whilst you're dead. Like, what? Why? Why do I have to die so you could go off after this lovely Jane Eyre? Plain Jane, you know. Miss Plain Jane over here, who has all these extravagant things happen around her. Yeah. Don't get me started on her cousins. Her cousins annoyed me too. Um, yeah, no. No one... Okay, I, I'm being a bit harsh. You guys might want to miss De Rochester and that's up to you. Um, but... That's my interpretation, so please don't take that the wrong way. Um, I'm all for hearing, you know, arguments on... Not, like, proper arguments, but, like, the other side and why you liked Jane Eyre. I'm all for it. Go ahead and tell me in the comments. You know, convince me. Tell me to watch this about it. Tell me to try rereading it. You know, do whatever you have to do. But I despised it. And also... Um, for my exam, I got a question on the least relevant person in the whole book, so that didn't give me any better reputation. Um, I also find the dialogue really, really boring. I was like, okay, I get it. Do you know what? I struggled to read it for my GCSEs. Like, my exam was based on it and I didn't finish the book. Like, if I hate a book, I can't read it and it was no i couldn't and um, yeah this probably hasn't really explained why i hate jane Eyre, but some factors like i thought the characters weren't very built upon if that makes sense didn't think there was much like characteristics although there was one teacher i can't remember her name though so much care but there was one character that i did find all right um but she reminded me a bit of miss honey if I'm thinking about the right person. Maybe it was Jane Eyre herself. I don't know. But, yeah, I hated the book. Um, bravo on Charlotte Bronte for actually writing a book because I can't relate, of course. Look, I'm sitting here chatting shit about a book. I haven't written anything. Sorry about the language. I'm not actually allowed to swear at home, but I'm home alone at the moment, so. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know what else to say. Do you know what? My hair's really annoying me now. Anyway, um...
<laughs> yeah, this is just a shorter video, so I'm going to end it now. Ugh, I look like a flipping turnip. Um, so, yeah. I hope this hasn't bored you, and I hope I haven't made anyone hate me. Probably going to get a few thumbs down for this video. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, everyone's been asking me why I hate Jane Eyre every time I say it's my least favorite book. So I decided to answer that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the love and the support. Yeah, it sounds so cringy, but I do appreciate it. It's nice to feel some what well, appreciated, you know? Um, if you want I mean you don't have to but it'd be nice and um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe I don't normally do this but my friend told me if you want subscribers you should ask them to subscribe otherwise people just watch it so you know I, I um, she doesn't sound like that by the way but um, yeah so I took her advice and now I'm just awkwardly asking you to subscribe so if you want Subscribe to this video and thumbs up, I guess. Or a thumbs down. I mean, I don't care. Just go ahead. This is all for fun. Anyway, love you guys lots. Mwah, 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 mwah. Ooh, 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 ooh.